Good to see you, Robert. How are you? That was a great bit. <laughs> you should tell yeah, the guys not to that. laugh, though, the ones playing the cops with you. <laughs> you should play it straight. You have to play the... You know, you know they're not real believable cops, you know. Now, you're, a couple of months ago, your lovely wife, uh, Brenda, was here. That was a great spot. Well, she was sweet, and uh, she sang beautifully, and she is obviously uh, pregnant. And yeah, uh, how's that coming along? Any day, week, something. Yeah. Uh, we had our last Lamaze class yesterday, and everyone sang Old Lang Syne. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's the one where the, the husband is made to feel slightly uh, less worthless than he actually is in the process. And you have to remind your wife, to, are ready for this, to breathe. I mean, that's, your that's the one thing she won't forget, to breathe. You know? <laughs> like, when you close your eyes, remember, lashes down. I mean, you're inv involuntary. Digest, honey, you know. There are certain things, you leave it to them. Yeah. But you have to... And those little things, because it hurts, evidently. And um, one, of the you, best, one of the best kept secrets, you know, because a beautiful baby. Are you getting I, scared? No, we're getting... We'd like it to be born already. You're at the point where you're very unwieldy and... Uh, our bed used to be a 50-50 affair, now it's 85-15, you know, it's, uh, uh, you, you just comes a time when you want to have this child already. Yeah. And, uh, soon, soon you think, huh? Yes, and I'm feeling very parental. Do you find, I've been talking about this, and I, I see a, a lot of people feel it too, that you begin, when you get older, even if you don't have children, to feel like your parents, that you catch yourself saying something and it sounds like your dad? No, baby, you, do you feel that? <laughs> <laughs> No, I was. He chose uh, the wrong guy. No, no, I'm. Feels that no, I'm trying to think if uh, if I if there's anything there that I have experienced. Like if you say, Jack, I disagree with you, and suddenly you feel like you know, I I, I say to people, and I say to you, my father always said that when uh -huh. there's something profound would come afterwards, like a, it cost two ninety nine, you know, <laughs> something really heavy, and I um. <laughs> My father is, plays with illegal golf balls in, in Florida, the ones on cable news network. You know. <laughs> hey, Your friends will never know. You know the bazooka one. ball or whatever. Not it is. for tournament play. It's just an ordinary. <laughs> become immoral when you get older and retired. It's just an ordinary golf ball with a 3,500-pound thrust Garrett turbofan engine. <laughs> so for those older folks, to help them along. Yeah. Uh, so you are feeling more parental then. Well, I guess it's good. Yeah. Yeah. My father thinks everyone's Jewish. He's a Hebrewphile, you know. Johann Sebastian Bach? Jewish. Yeah. The man wrote 300 Lutheran hymns in his life, <laughs> but he was Jewish, you know. Sir Michael Redgrave? Jewish, you know. <laughs> Ryan O'Neill? Orthodox. Must be lifted from his house on the Sabbath. You know. <laughs> it's a peculiar habit. I don't think that everyone's Jewish. You know. Hey, cabbage patch dolls. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Makes now, a great a stocking stuffer. Yeah. Oh, that, sure, sure. Everything now is a, yeah. Uh, around Christmas... <laughs> When the, when the uh, advertisers don't want to lay out the bread for a whole new commercial, they put a cheap super on that says, uh, makes a great gift. Anything, you know, this extension cord comes in 7 and 15 feet. Makes a great gift. You know. <laughs> uh, what is it, an extension cord? You know, that's just what I wanted. Uh, the egg, and also peculiar things come out of the walls, like the egg scrambler right. makes a great gift, which is uh, something where you put the egg in and it you know, uh, relieves mankind of that age-old drudgery, this motion. That's right. <laughs> and they drag out Catherine Deneuve every Christmas, who can't make up her mind, you know. I like a man that's tall yet short, you know. <laughs> I like a man that's intelligent yet stupid, you know. <laughs> Fat yet skinny, she doesn't know what she wants. But all the football bums watching, it's the only woman on afternoon television, you know. The, Thing. It's beautiful downstairs or the tree. You gotta oh, yeah. admit it's it. great here for the holidays. Yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Let me uh, let me interrupt you, Robert. We'll be right back. We have to do a commercial, but please return, won't you? <laughs> Robert Klein is with us tonight, and Robert, I understand. Uh, You've prepared uh, a song for us? A Christmas song. A Christmas song, great. Uh, we, we used to the used to, uh, same old ones, you know. The, uh, the ding, are you listening? It's beginning to look. I like the good old days. I'd like to go back to the 12th century. Yeah. And do one of my favorite Gregorian chants. And if you know it, hum right in. Don't, don't hesitate at all. But it's a cappella, fellas. Sorry. 
In those days, this is before the Fender, so I'd like to stand up. <laughs> this is a 12th century French uh, Gregorian chant. As I say, if you know it, come right in. This was used to call the friars to the evening meal during the holidays. It's beautiful. <laughs> Great. Fish cakes and spaghetti. <laughs> it goes on with the menu, actually. Fish cakes and spaghetti. It's a long way to go. That's an Andy Kaufman approach. <laughs> uh, now, you, uh, one of the times you were on the show over the last two years, you I guess a couple of times, couple you brought times. us uh, home movies that we've enjoyed a great deal. And tonight you have some more. Yes, I have a, a few more movies. It seemed to be fun to people. We really get jerky in front of an 8 millimeter movie camera sure. with headache pans that my father took, you know, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first part, the first minute or so is from 1948 or 47. And the second part is when sound came in. And it was 1978. We made some dumb home movies, mm -hmm. which I insult my in-laws. So insult. this would be comparing the old and the new. The old and the new. Old and the new, OK. Let's take a look here. Robert Klein. <laughs> the menu goes on. <laughs> and some home movies. Are you going to talk about what oh. we have here? Or is oh, it oh, there I am, yes. Yeah. That was, that's Mom. What an attractive Joe Castor, Yeah, Klein. she's a very handsome woman. That's uh, my cousin Morris. People say he looks like a suit. I think it's an insult. My first Western. Uh -huh. uh, that's a Bronx Zoo pony ride. And there's Morris again. Yeah. Why, is, why is there this seal footage? <laughs> uh, pony. Have that parents ever taken children pictures? There's my first driving lesson. And I turn only left, you notice? Yeah. And a hat with earlaps. I hate hat. earlaps. Yeah, that's a nice Earlaps hat. are my enemy, and you get this, go, trying for China. An old person, <laughs> by the way, I didn't change the film and the camera from winter to summer. There's my mother, conditioning mom in a two-piece. There I am, and that's uh -huh. Long Beach, Long Island. And uh, you like the ocean, too, huh? It's quite well, a it's tan you got there. You skip it, fruit. <laughs> anyway, there's... <laughs> Mom again, very physically fit, <laughs> and she changed the... Uh, ooh, that's Brenda. That's a machine gun. Movies have come a long way since the days of primitive Ben Klein films in Long Beach, 1947, of people on a beach. To the sophisticated 1978 sound model of people on a beach. Can you see them trying to launch that uh, catamaran? And a guy in a kayak next to him. But the guy in the car is not paying for the film. <laughs> so I'm getting in this movie. Get it? It's me on my tractor in the country. Is that uh -huh. a schmageggy for you? Look at that. <laughs> Turning left once again. <laughs> I'm a southpaw, you know. I think I... Do, do, do I look stupid on that or not? <laughs> no, uh-uh. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's me after cosmetic surgery. <laughs> That's my cousin, Mark. Scuba diving is one of America's favorite pastimes, and for good reason, too. Keeps one physically fit, alert, and the outfits are attractive. <laughs> After all, one really never looks like <laughs> when one is wearing super equipment. <laughs> These, our next contestants are a nice family, some nice folks from Salt Lake City. Tell the Nova's country. Who's this? Let's take my hand. <laughs> When you, when you have a home movie camera, anything you have somehow gets into the home movies, doesn't it? That's right. And also people move because it's movies and they do anything, even sure. intelligent people. Yeah. yeah. And and I make a but point. you've had years and years of wonderful fun out of those, haven't you? Yes. I don't know if we'll have years and years of wonderful fun on the show with them anymore. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to play it by ear. Us laughing scene. You know, and I want to apologize to my in-laws who are really nice people and I made a fool. They have beautiful voices. No, they look very nice. They're good very sports. Nice. Right? You get, uh, where are you working now? You're real busy. Oh, I, I, I'm going to be on the, tomorrow night in, in Salt Lake City and uh, I've wasn't mentioned the December 16th and 17th at the Funny Bone in Pittsburgh. Funny Bone in Pittsburgh? Very funny place. Uh, and, uh, Utah and San Francisco. And Wolfgang's uh, 
Friday night, this coming in San Francisco, doing my West Coast swing. Busy as always. Which Pittsburgh was put in between <laughs> San Francisco and so on. <laughs> So, uh, so that'll be very, yeah, relaxing a relaxing little trip for it. Yes, the, uh, the travel person was ill, uh, and uh, they had a person that came in. Well, I'm glad you could find time to come here. Always a Robert pleasure. Klein, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We'll be right back, folks. Thank you very much.